It being Thursday morning, I call on special matters of interest to remind members they have a five minute maximum. The Honourable Member for Rose is. Let's stop watching. <laughs> um, thanks very much, uh, Madam President. And you know, it's a fact of life uh, or economics that most industries and mar markets are cyclical or cyclical, however you want to say. They have ups and downs and they have booms and busts. We know that and sometimes we can predict that cycle and we can compensate. Sometimes we can't. But mostly you ride the wave when it's there and continue. It's uh, pretty hard to name a Tasmanian industry which uh, isn't subject to this uh, cyclical characterisation, Madam President. Mining, agriculture, forestry, tourism. But particularly tourism, which I want to talk about today. And as we know, it's suffering a cyclical downturn for various reasons. So is Tasmania's forestry industry. And uh, without that structural change that we've had discussed over the last couple of years and a lot of new ideas, it could be unlikely to uh, catch that next wave if there is one for the industry. But uh, if I was a gambling man, Madam President, uh, I'd put my money on Tasmania's tourism industry. The balance of the world's economy is changing. We talk a lot now about China and India beginning that transition to their vast middle class populations. 2.4 million dollars combined. 2.4 million people combined. Thank you very much. Vast, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an act, a team. Remind yeah, your now, time. But vast <laughs> middle classes, Madam President, as we're aware, will demand better diets, labour saving consumer goods, and travel. It's already happening. If you ride on the, uh, on the Cradle Mountain shuttle bus between Double Lake and, uh, and, and just have a look at the number of Indian and Chinese uh, visitors who are on board. So the next wave for the tourism industry is probably already approaching. But not so for forestry. I mentioned forestry before, Madam President. There's been, of course, a long debate now in Tasmania on the importance of the forestry industry. And there's that comparison to tourism, which uh, I always... Uh, don't appreciate. Uh, if figures released by the Australian Institute recently are to be believed, the forestry industry employs about 1% of the Tasmanian workforce. These figures are malleable, they're changeable of course, but they set the figure, the Australian Institute, at 3,400 and accounts for 9% of exports. Forestry, or at least wood and paper, ranks number four in Tasmanian export value, behind mining, tourism, food products and manufacturers goods. Tourism is worth, according to their figures, $1.3 billion a year, almost equal to mining. Our select committee last year in our report that was chaired by uh, the, uh, uh, the member for Launceston, Don Wing, we did highlight that in New Zealand they have a competition between the number one and number two spot between primary industry and tourism. The country promotes tourism. More about that later, but um, we, we uh, quoted in the report from the Tourism Industry Council CEO, Daniel Hanna, and he was saying that Tasmania's share of the state economy was greater than in any other Australian state. Mr Hanna told the committee that tourism was directly 5% of the gross state product and indirectly it was 8.5% of the gross state product. Tourism employed 6.1% directly and with indirect employment, 11%. So, Madam President, if a state government wanted to invest in a winner, I think it would be tourism. And that would be fine by my constituents too on the West Hamer. It's impossible to break out the figures on the importance of tourism in my electorate of Rosevears, as it is in fact for the state. I'll give you those figures, but it's difficult to get at figures. But it's not the hard, hard to see it as one of our vital industries on the West Tamer. It fits well, of course, with our growing wine industry, and we have the great attraction of the beautiful Tamer River, as does the member of the Windermere's electorate, uh, Madam President, although we could have a dispute on the value of the views. I submit that my view, his view is much better because he can see a lot of rose views from where he is. Um, but promotional spending... I can see too much of rose views from here. From <laughs> I can see spending, one more minute left. Marketing spending on tourism is one thing, and we need it. But the enduring image of Tasmania as a tourist destination is a many-faceted thing. 
Small business plays a major role, as does the community. All the promotion dollars in the world won't help, Madam President, if visitors to Tasmania don't experience value for money, if they don't experience a warm welcome and a pleasant and memorable experience. We in Tasmania are handed big things on a platter. Our wilderness, our historical heritage, a clean and green environment, great food ingredients. But it's the little things that matter. The little things, the restaurants, the cellar doors, the art, the craft outlets, and our communities themselves, particularly the events that they create year round. One community event created in my electorate, Madam President, is called Art in Twine. It's being held this month, organised by the West Tamer Arts Group, to celebrate the region's natural and cultural heritage through the creativity of local people and communities. This year, individuals and more than 20 artists will be exhibiting their work in five partner vineyards where people can enjoy wines and tasting plates while viewing indoor and outdoor sculpture and art specifically commissioned for Art in Twine, opened by the Minister for Tourism last weekend. But over three consecutive weekends, nine community halls will share their local stories, their history and their place through exhibitions, performance and other special events. I opened an exhibition at Deviant, Madam President, where residents had submitted art pieces that were very special to them. And they presented their stories, which were catalogued, and that, that was on exhibit at the Deviant Hall. One of the little things that contributes to the region's attractiveness to the visitors. The and members, all of these little things, Madam President... The members' time up, has expired. Yes, and I say they build up to establish this wonderful image of Tasmania. And uh, I would like to hasten to point out but people are the important component of the Tasmanian the Honourable Member tourism, for Apsley. tourism situation, and people have a role to play.